I'm Spanish. Our friends in the, or our co let's say, our associates in the coalition, there is a huge majority of people, but I don't know if it's majority yet. You're hijacking what is basically an election for a regional assembly and saying to the people of Catalonia, no, forget about the regional assembly, let's make it a de facto referendum on independence. And that's well, not actually fair, is it? Because many local people probably <laughs> want to... We tried for years to make a referendum. But that is illegal. Exactly. Well, that's the main problem. Well, you've got to accept law, unless you're an anarchist. Nobody can expose Catalonia from oh, the you made, you made that point. The thing you are saying is nonsense. The legal certainty right now in Spain is very, is very under credit. And that's a problem. You talk about the rule of law in Spain and the, the feeling it's you have problem. that Spain has big problems. Your key allies in the independence movement are the, the big establishment party, the Nationalist Party, CDC, right? Yeah. Now, the longtime leader of the CDC, Jordi Pujol, <laughs> has just admitted publicly to his own people that for many years he's been running it's, secret bank accounts in Andorra and other places it's where he has kept millions of euros beyond the Spanish tax man. And, and we also know that the party is being investigated under the leadership of, of its current leader, Artur Mas. So when you tell me, oh, Madrid is full of bad people doing bad things, frankly, Catalonian politics is not so much better than Spanish national. You guys want to leave because you're more prosperous than they are and you don't want no, any sort of redistribution so that your wealth helps the rest of Spain. Yours, in the end, is yes. fantasy politics.